through science that human activity, uh, that climate change is due to human activity, and we continue to ignore it. And the only voice that we really have is through voting. Um, so and you have voted, at a, and we voted, country. and it was really startling. Um, you know, you're watching these hurricanes now, and it's really it's hard, especially while promoting this movie, not to not to feel Mother Nature's rage, wrath. Hollywood hack Jennifer Lawrence got a nice dose of karma after trashing Trump supporters in a TV interview last week. She claimed the recent hurricane slamming the United States are the fault of Trump voters because they don't believe in man-made climate change. Fast forward one week later, and her movie Mother gets an F grade and is now being reported as perhaps the worst movie of the century. Jennifer Lawrence's new movie Mother raked in $7.8 million to start and scored a rare F grade from CinemaScore audiences on Friday night. In other words it was a box office flop. Rex Reed absolutely slammed Mother in The Observer calling it the worst movie of the century. Reed had some colorful words to describe just how bad this Jennifer Lawrence movie is. As Reed wrote in The Observer, this delusional freak show is two hours of pretentious twaddle that tackles religion, paranoia, lust, rebellion, and a thirst for blood in a circus of grotesque debauchery to prove that being a woman requires emotional sacrifice and physical agony at the cost of everything else in life including life itself. Although you will spend most of the painful, torturous, and stressful two hours it takes to survive mother, trying to figure out what it's all about, I advise you to ignore the reviews entirely and make up your own fantasy. Reed saved the best for last because his conclusion was the icing on the cake. Nothing about mother makes one lick of sense as Darren Aronofsky's corny vision of madness turns more hilarious than scary. With so much crap around to clog the drain, I hesitate to label it the worst movie of the year when worst movie of the century fits it even better. There is something so satisfying about seeing a Hollywood elitist get served after attacking ordinary Americans. Enjoy your box office flop Jennifer Lawrence.